Well, we're here at the MCG with Ty Kennelly, former All-Ireland winner with Kerry, former Premiership winner with Sydney, and of course the Australia assistant coach, Ty. You're looking strong this year, you've picked the best guys. Yeah, it is. Look, it's, it's, it's the best team, um, it's the best AFL footballers in the country that are playing. There's, and you got to have an all-star, basically equivalent an all-Australian medal to be selected on the team. So it's certainly the best uh, Australian team. And the concept works when you've got the best players playing from both countries, and it's going to be a fierce battle. Now, last time your assistant came to Ireland, it didn't work out. You've obviously looked at that and said, right, we really do want to win the series and we know how serious the Australians are taking it because of the team that you've gone with this time around. Yeah. And it's great to see the AFL now committing to it and saying, well, let's go. And I think they have committed to it. The idea of the in Indigenous players was, yes, it works, the smaller players, but I think the general idea was, as a whole, there's just not enough Indigenous footballers in the competition. When you've got the elite playing and the, co the, the series works as a whole, when you've got the best players from Ireland, the best players from Australia playing, and history shows that the average between the two teams is extremely close in the past. So, look, it's going to be on, it's going to be a fierce battle and I think it's going to be a game where people will say this is tremendous, let's get more of this, I want more of this, we want more of this and uh, I think we, we, Australia need a win to, to really reinvigorate the country as a whole here in Australia and get behind the series. And there's a few new rules as well including the kick out being 45 metres minimum and that's a big advantage to the Aussies isn't it? Yeah it is Look, and the reason the rule was brought in was actually to, to, to get the bigger players playing the Nick Nat Nui's, you know, Nick Rewalds, these boys are over 6'7", six, 6'8", six, and then actually you can get them in the game they can come and take big hangers, big marks and, and jump on people's shoulders basically yeah. and the people here in Australia want to see that because that's part of their component to the game so that's what that rules came in it's a big advantage to Australia that rule and it'll go back to the old days of Gaelic football where actually the ball's put down and kick it out to the middle and you'll see the likes of a Jack O'Shea coming over the top or a David but more on the son of Augie. And just before I let you go, Ty, Tommy Walsh returning to Kerry. Big boost to the kingdom. It is. Look, it's, it's great for, 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 for Eamon and the backroom team. You know, often when you're actually playing, you need a lift after winning all Ireland. This is a lift for the whole group as a, as a whole. And I'm sure you're going to get behind the, the team in Kerry and reinvigorate.